Hi everyone, Yasas, Kekalo Sirfata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a comforting meal that just takes a few minutes to prepare and then your oven does all of the work. We're going to be making lamb shanks with potatoes in a red sauce, kokinista, in the oven. It's so good, your family's going to love this one. Let's get started. So I'm using lamb shanks today because I usually buy the lamb shank box from my restaurant supply store. It's at a much better price than what the supermarket sells it for and I, it stays fresh in my freezer for months. I use the lamb shanks in so many different recipes like this one. So go ahead and wash them in cool water and then pat them dry. Make sure that they're thawed out completely and they're not cold or anything like that. And then go ahead and put the lamb shanks in a baking tray. Make sure the baking tray is metal because it's going to go under the broiler and you don't want it to shatter or break or anything like that. Turn your oven to the high broiler setting and, the, and let the rack be as close to the heating element, of course not touching the lamb shanks, as close to the heating element as possible. I'm not going to season these lamb shanks with anything. I won't put any oil on them. Lamb shanks are a nice and fatty cut of meat. That's why I love them. They stay nice and moist and juicy. I'm using five today, but if your pan, if you have a bigger pan or if you're doing two batches of this, that's even better. Put as many lamb shanks as, the, as can fit in your pan because because these make delicious leftovers. They taste even better the next day. So they're gonna go under the broiler for about 25 minutes so that they get nice and brown and then there's no mess on your stovetop. That's the best part about browning meat under your broiler. So put them in there and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna prepare the remaining ingredients. So I have a large onion here. I'm just gonna finely chop it and set it aside. Next, I have some potatoes. You can use five, six, seven, however many potatoes you want. You can use russet potatoes for this or gold potatoes. Go ahead and peel them and cut them in half. If they're really big, you can cut them in quarters. You don't wanna cut them too thin because they're gonna cook for a long time with the lamb all together in the oven. So you don't want them to become mushy. Get your potatoes ready, then slice them in half, like I said, put them in a bowl of cold water so that way they don't turn brown, and that's it. As soon as the lamb comes out of the oven, I like to drain the, the fat that you know, melts off when the lamb shanks are browning. Again, there's gonna be a lot of grease in this from the lamb shank fat that's gonna be in the meal anyway. So I just drain the drippings out, you can leave them in if you really like them. And then you're just gonna put everything else into the pan right now. The onions are gonna go in. I've grated six garlic cloves. Those are gonna go in as well with a can of tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. We really like the texture of a smooth sauce. So I usually buy pureed tomatoes. A 15 ounce can will do. Just go ahead and put the tomatoes in there. Season with salt and black pepper. You wanna season this generously. Potatoes need a lot of salt. The lamb shank should be seasoned well too. And again, I said black pepper. You're gonna to wanna to put some crushed red pepper flakes in this if you like a little kick of heat. I put one heaping teaspoon of ground cumin and two teaspoons of ground coriander in this as well. And I'm also gonna add two teaspoons of dried oregano and just make sure that everything is nice and covered. Then I'm just gonna rinse out my can with about two cups of water so that way there's some liquid in this so everything cooks evenly. And then I like to cover the pan. Before I put the foil, I crumble a big piece of parchment paper and I just put it on top so that way the foil isn't touching the meat. And then I cover it really tightly with foil. My oven is down to 350 degrees now. And this is gonna bake covered for two hours. After two hours, I'm gonna take the pan out of the oven, uncover it, and I'm gonna just flip the lamb shanks over so that way everything cooks evenly. And it's going to cook for 45 minutes uncovered, just like this. And halfway through, I, I just go in and I flip the lamb, lamb shanks over and I'm just gonna cook them until the meat is soft and tender and pretty much falling off the bone. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. Okay, so the lamb shanks and potatoes are ready. The sauce is nice and thick. The potatoes are literally melting and the lamb is pr practically falling off of the bone. What I did, like I said before, baked at 350 degrees covered for two hours. I uncovered it. I cooked them for about 30 or 40 minutes on one side. I flipped them over and cooked them an additional 30, 40 minutes on the other side and the meal is ready. You can serve this with some Mediterranean rice pilaf. You can serve it with a Greek salad some toasted bread to soak up that delicious hearty sauce. Let's do the taste test. And when I was little, what I would love to do was mash the potatoes, kind of make mashed potatoes and that, that gravy that's in there. Look at the lamb, it's literally melting, falling off of the bone, tears off really easily.
This is so comforting. The perfect amount of seasoning. The lamb is so tender, it's not gamey at all. It's so good. You can finally chop some fresh parsley and sprinkle it on top if you want. Feta and olives wouldn't hurt either. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. You can print out this recipe on the website on DimitrasDishes.com. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And if you want to learn how to make delicious desserts to go with this, I have an ebook that's out, 25 Days of Desserts. You can get that on the website as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.